you got your ready. cam ready? You ready? What, what, what we at? What you got? Okay, this is what okay, I got. This is what I got. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, 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 Which is going to be tonight, and we are going to go ahead and stream it live on the podcast. Yes, sir. That's what we're going to do. Because everybody is waiting to know who they play. Not even so much who they play. I think it's more so of what time we play. So, yeah. Right, right. Um, I know League is going to be already here. here. I mean, it was like just six weeks ago. It was like, we got six weeks. Huh. I know. All right. Cool. Well, it's here. All right. Cool. Well, well, it's here, and we're gonna jump in the hot topics. We're gonna jump in the hot topics until they start the draft. When they start the draft, we'll jump right into the draft. All right. All right. All right. Cool. So the first hot topic that we had to talk about was, you know, living in Atlanta. We have living in Atlanta. We have a lot of chaos. Yeah. Living in Atlanta. 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 Living in and that's so alarming because how many times have you ever shopped at that Publix and all the time you've been living in Atlanta? Uh, I've been to that particular Publix oh numerous times. Um, for one, I mean this this is my whole take on this whole thing. Um, you you never know what is the bottom line to why certain individuals do what they do, and uh, luckily. This young man of color was spared because in in history, uh, you know, they'll take us down and take us out quicker than they will um, the other race. And um, even though he did not harm anyone, and a lot of times, and and this time he was actually armed. It seems like the ones that are unarmed of color, they take them down, take them out, and they're dead, they're murdered, whereas someone else, of a different race is taken into custody with no issues. But you just took out 10, 12 people, uh, male, female, children, elders, and their lives are spared. So I, I just don't, you just never know what is triggering. Was it boredom? Mm-hmm. Would they get it on? Wow. 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 To me, that would be a terroristic threat. It's a terroristic yeah. threat. It's an yeah. Yeah. To me too. Yeah, it was a terroristic threat. I was very surprised. surprised the only thing they did was apprehend him. him. Um, after after he was coming out, out of the bathroom, bathroom in public. public. So, so I, would I would assume, assume that somebody, somebody saw him because he had a huge tube bag on him. So he walked in with him. Yeah, he walked in with him. So he didn't have to be because when you walk, he did not walk in shooting. <laughs> and then I think they say he went and put like a few of them down inside the restroom. So maybe he had a change of heart. And that's a good thing because, you know, so many people that we know could have been injured. The, oh, the thing is, he was only charged with um, reckless conduct. And that's it. I, I do. I agree with you on he should be charged with some type of terroristic threat. threat. Because he was also wearing body armor. So when you're wearing body armor, but if you go, you pretty much you go down to Woodruff Park and they're standing with their rifles because they have the right to bear arms. They're they're you they're you know they're doing their amendment right to bear arms. So I mean, they say he didn't point it at anybody. You know, mm-hmm. and, and, and maybe so. Maybe he was experimenting, but that's a risky experiment. I know, I know that they, they did say that they, they had great EMS come, come and do a mental evaluation on him on site. Apparently, they found him to be confident enough to do 
some, some charges, charges of the reckless, reckless conduct. conduct. To, to me, if you're wearing body armor, armor and, and you want into, into a public, public place, place like, like that with, with six, six guns, guns on you, 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 you have, have intentions. intentions. He went, he went to the, the bathroom, bathroom, probably because he had a change of heart. Yeah. yeah. So, but um, yeah, yeah it's, it's unfortunate. unfortunate. It's crazy. crazy. Um, um, so that's so that. that but, that, but that, we can go on to the next hot, hot, hot topic, and, and that, that is, is uh, April. April. The, the month, month of April. The month of wedding season kickoff. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it is the season of bliss uh, during April. I think in, I think around. The first of spring, some some winters that you know it gets like that as well. When it comes to uh, weddings and and people wanting to wed and jump the room per se and um, celebrate their their unions and things that I and mean, yeah, April is a big month. So uh, in saying that, what comes with that when you decide to say I want I'm gonna get married and I'm gonna marry this person. Like, yes. when things come into perspective? Definitely, Definitely wedding, wedding season comes to mind when you think, think about April. April. I, I mean, mean, people, people are, are just ready, ready to, to get, get out there, get, get married. And, and I, I think, think after COVID, COVID, not after COVID, COVID, but I think even during the last days, days of COVID, people, people are, are still ready, ready to just, like, have their traditional, traditional wedding. wedding. They, they don't, don't want to let COVID take away that tradition from them. But... Our, our love topic, topic we're going to love topic, topic all, all month long to celebrate weddings and kick, kick out on April, April. And our love, love topic, topic for week number one is going to be this. this. When, when you're getting married, should you should rearrange your finances to one, combine all finances and all funds into one. one. Or keep the funds, funds separate, separate and have, have a mutual fund that you guys, that you guys both contribute for the house for the house every month, month. 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 Or keep the funds keep the fund all together separate. separate. You, you, know, you know, you know, you can't build, you can't build, build, but everything is completely separate. separate. What direction, what direction are, you are you going? Me, when I decide to get married, I just feel like uh, there should be one big pot that is strictly for you know priorities and you know the big ticket things. Um, and then we both could have our separate accounts, you know, for our miscellaneous um, daily, I mean, weekly or monthly maintenance that you do for yourself and things like that, that you don't have to tie that into the major things, you know, because I don't, if you don't want those habits that one another have to, to come out of the main pot. I just think that, that, in my opinion, I would want, you know, my nails, my hair, you know, things like that, lunch, what have you. I don't think, I don't want that coming out of the big pot. His haircuts, his pedicures, you know, facials, whatever it is that he does. I mean, out with the guys, having some drinks. I don't need that coming out of our pot, our major mm -hmm. pot that's for the house. So I think, you know, we should have one big one and, and our two separates. That's why I, that's, that's me. I like, I like that. that. I like that. that. My, My cousin, cousin Roslyn said, said uh, she, actually she actually said, said she, she thinks that when, when you get, when you get, get married, married, all things are one. one. So, so there, there is one bank account. account. Everything, Everything is combined. combined. Nothing, Nothing is separate. separate. That, that, that perspective is so, so interesting, interesting to a lot, lot of people at a recent bridal shower. Uh, my, my perspective, perspective would be, uh, you, know, you know, I think, I think, I think when you when get, get married, married earlier in life, life you, you, you both, both have less, less than you've you accumulated to get married in your late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. And, and so, so I think when you get married early on in life, life, I think the first one works where you just combine all finances and all funds into one. But I think once you have more than that, then you can have a Wrong, wrong so much, so much and, you and you accumulate so much, so much on your own. Because by, because by this day in life, life, you know, late, late mid-20s, late 20s, early 30s, 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 you got, you got the, the house, the car, the bank account. account. So right. I think at I think that, that point, point um, I want to keep, keep my stuff, stuff separate, separate and, and you keep your stuff separate. Because like you said, I don't want you, you know, your cologne buying habit or that I find wasteful. Because I think that that's a big thing. 
on spending money to come into an argument. Like, 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 what are you doing that for? Why, why are you spending this on that? You know, like, yeah. I, I just think exactly. you know, your financial freedom for your like I said, your your own habits. And that way, I don't have to worry about how much you spent when you was out with the boys because as long as you ain't took nothing from the big pot to <laughs> balance out what you done spent with the fellas, you know, I ain't worried about that. You just need to already have that budgeted that if you're going to hang out with the boys, this is what you're going to spend because, I mean, that's what I do now. If I'm going to go hang out with my bestie, I already know what my limit is and, you know, this is what I'm doing. So, exactly. exactly. I agree with that. That's really interesting. We're going to hold this question later. We're going to announce it back to the viewers because people, people have some very, very different, different perspectives, perspectives of the bridal shop. But we'll be we'll talking, talking about, about how to spend your money and how to spend your money. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know, some people have theories on what they want to do. Uh, again, Stallions are still progressing. Uh, we are a progressive team, and we progress each and each uh, season. And I know one of my teammates was like, well, let's play the harder teams first, and then it's all uphill for, for us Ooh. after that. Um, so I kind of agree with that. Um, that'll be you do. That'll pretty dope, be pretty dope to get, like, you know, Tigers and uh, APOC out of the way. Um, so we can kind of meet our match uh, as far as uh, where we are with the uh, IQs and uh, athleticism uh, with the football. Uh, they, they're, just, they're just above us. I mean, that's just being honest. Um, they're definitely the ones that they make you better. I get. I will say that. And I do appreciate Tigers and, and Apox uh, for uh, giving us a. It might not even be a tough fight. I don't know. I don't know how to weigh it. I can't think for them. Uh, but they definitely give us something to look forward to. Um, I think. I'm not sure who Gates wanted us to really, really play. I know he mentioned it. I just can't remember exactly who uh, he definitely had on our chopping block. But I'm just looking forward to a great, great, enthusiastic season. Uh, a lot of people uh, were saying the fun was being taken away from football. I'm ready for the fun to come back. Um, definitely uh, ready for the camaraderie to be a lot better amongst the teams. And I'm going to get out there and I'm going to get more familiar with uh, the teams and their playmakers and um so that we can start really promoting and shining the light on these young ladies out here for giving their all and doing their best every Sunday. Absolutely. Well, well said. said. And it's, it's going to be a great, great season, season, great, great camaraderie, great, great sisterhood. sisterhood. You, you know, know, I know this is off, off, off to the left a little, little bit, bit, but it'll, it'll be, be so cool, like, kind of like, like you said, said before, like, like we can all have, have like, a really big, big event. event. Right. And, and all, all the women come, and it's like, like literally like, like sisterhood. You know what I mean? It'll be hundreds of, of it'll, it'll, it'll be a really, really cool event to just like, like get to know everybody. Uh, with us being a being out there at Ellenwood, our first uh, game uh, definitely will give us a different audience. Uh, although we're not going to be out there very often, it definitely will open up. Um, if people know that we're out there, especially who live in that area, want to come out and, and see the girls play. Uh, ladies, let me not call them girls, uh, ladies play, and, oh, <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> uh, but, um, also, I mean, because when we were out at Lithia Springs, we got a lot of people that came out that, you know, just was in the area that was, love the good game of football, and to see these, um, young ladies out here playing this sport, they were excited and they kept coming back. So I'm looking forward to getting uh, some new fan base and um, new new people out there watching us do what we do, man. Do y'all have anything on y'all team? Like any rookies that we've never seen? Never seen? Yes, we do. We will have at least one rookie. No, two. At least two rookies that I know. Three. No, I'm trying to think, y'all. So many, y'all. I'm, so, I'm trying to think. Uh, so we definitely have Miracle Prime, the Bomb. They're definitely um, the three off the top of my head that I know that will be our rookies. If I'm missing somebody, sorry. But I definitely know those three. So, yeah. Looking forward to it, man. Like, I'm ready. So uh, apparently the draft is not on live yet, Shauna. Oh. That's okay. Okay, okay that's, that's fine. fine. We're, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna zoom in to it though when they're ready to go. Because okay. it's gonna be it's so, gonna be so cool. cool. It's gonna be it's so gonna be cool so to cool see it. Got a chance to talk to, talk to, to Sean, Sean to Gilmore earlier, earlier today. today. Amazing, Amazing conversation. conversation. Football, Football IQ knowledge, knowledge off the chart. chart. Yeah. Um, um just, just Literally, literally, like, like so, so impressed, impressed with, with how much football, football, and football, football, football history, history that she knows. She knows. Um, um, and, and the big, the big things that she has that she in the works for, work women, for women and women's, and women's football, football are, are just, I was mind blown, literally, literally just sitting, just sitting on, the phone, on the phone, like, like oh my oh gosh, gosh uh, uh, yeah. this stuff that this woman is working on. So, Pioneer, definitely the go to person of the sport. And especially for down south, you know, although she kind of started um, up 
in the D.C. area um, first, and then she she's brought it down here to Atlanta. So uh, definitely knows what she's talking about, knows what to do to get this off the ground and, you know, spotlight us a little bit better um, and grow this sport, man. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely ready to go to sport and just get to know um, all, all the things that she's doing with this is crazy. Um, um, but that's okay, before they go live, do we have any of these We do have a real ex. ex in the building. They don't want my butt. They don't want my ex back here. say that i mean we should be able to you know learn every position and be able to excel at them be that x factor you know so that's what it is <laughs> well, said. well said well you know oh. i played alongside shawnee uh in our previous season uh she played with us yeah. and great we athlete we yeah, yeah. merged when, when x that's factor me. and stallions merged to be stallion x so she was Definitely my teammate. Definitely a great asset. She's also but my still Phoenix is your, sister still is your uh, for tackle. <laughs> yeah. So we out here getting it in, baby. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I'm ready to see her. I'm yeah, ready to see her. Games. We got games in the building. I got a little, little, little tiff with uh, games. 
Uh, but I'm gonna let her introduce herself and tell us, you know, like she and where she came from, cause she is not new to the league. Let me tell you that. So she's, but she's not home. new to the league. But she she found her new home. Oh, wow. oh definitely. Come on, Gaines. Where you came from? Um, I'm Gaines. I came from the Code Red team. I played, I think, two years ago. Okay. And uh, he had me playing on the line. Uh, I'm back now, and back. I'm playing, working on some <laughs> fundamentals, trying to get better every day. Not really a competition. The only competition is myself, so I don't really see yeah. nobody Facts. on the yeah. field as a competition, period. So mm -hmm. don't ask me no questions about it. <laughs> That's that. Yeah. <laughs> well, she like boobs because she darn near took my nipple ring off oh. and I went too far. You was pushing on the phone, so you know I had to. Oh, that's in my shirt. I think I'm going to let you step for real. Like, oh. In my shirt. Just real. Why not please out? I'm saying, hold that. So I had to hold that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. And yeah. we're going to move on down to the coach, the head of this here. Athleticism in these beautiful ladies. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> I'm Bird. I'm Coach Bird. Man, y'all already know me. Ain't too much need to be said. You know what I'm saying? We here. All right, Coach Bird. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I was. I, I've been able to be coached up under Coach Bird. Uh, he gave some good, some good things uh, when we were uh, working up under him, and you know. We tried it. Um, we merged. Yeah, right, we we right. separated, and we gonna see what's happening. You know, I don't think that he will bring anything shabby to the to the field. I think he's gonna bring nothing but goodness and greatness, and I can't wait to see it. You ready to dominate? Of course. Awesome. That was one of my questions, though, too, Coach. Why not join the team? You said what? I know they don't. When you seen Butterfold? Have you ever? Butter, hey. Have you ever seen butter? butter, butter, butter I just think it's somebody for everybody. Keep I mean, racing I'm all. I'm, I'm out there. Both sides of the ball. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. It's somebody for everybody. I mean, we all know that. Yeah. And that's why we always got to bring our A game each and every time. You know, each team is different. You know, where it's no longer, you know, about the past. It's like what you could do to contribute each and every play afterwards. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so, you know, it's just good to be a student of the game and be competitive because, I mean, we are out here to compete. We're not, For you know, sure. trying to play no games. I mean, realistically, we're in a position now where women are being hurt. So, you know, now we just got to bring our A game, like. And, and record each one because yeah. you know, we, <laughs> and keep you know that, we, a keep lot of girls got some yeah us. a lot of girls got some spot you know some highlights oh, and yeah. the spotlight is shining like so leaving people's ankles on the floor. wow, wow. So, so my, my question, question to you is um, since, since you guys are bringing, are bringing your, your A game, game every, every game, game you guys, you guys know, know that um, a has won, won the last two seasons of championship. Do you guys think in your first season are you guys going for the championship? Do you guys think you're actually going to the championship and win it? What's your expectation for this season? Well, I mean, we're thinking more so towards a, a broader aspect, you know, in regards to being greater than, again, our past. You know, we're thinking more so on a national level. Uh, we would say more, you know, we're competing and trying to get the team chemistry together and, again, be our best version of ourselves. So big shout-outs to APOC for, you know, winning the championships last year. Um, I know there's several other teams that now, you know, uh, is gearing for that same position. So, you know, um, you know, we just all, again, are students of the game and working hard and paying homage to, you know, the, those who've done it before us because, you know, we are trying for that and, and working hard towards that spot. So, um, uh, Beautifully said. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was a, a humble, humble way to put me coming to that top spot. I like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, it's humble. humble. We all working, you know what I'm saying? If you're not working, then you sleep, so. Right. And we trying to What's the next factor apart from, from the traditions that we're, that we're seeing, seeing in the league year over year? year. I'm sorry? What, what sets X factor apart from... Yeah, yeah because, because there's, there's a reason that you guys have been destroying forces with another team, team the tradition. tradition. What, what is, is so different, different about, about X factor? factor? What different are y'all going to bring to the league that separates y'all from the traditional teams in the league? I think I can answer that. Um... It's more camaraderie, humility, and honesty, and actual conversations with effectiveness towards accountability of one another as a team and it's it's good energy at that like we expect what we expect from what was said when we begin this journey so we're following up with it and we just working together to get the job done 
I mean, and we can't get it done without everybody. Our weakest link is everyone, so we yeah, all got to contribute and do what's down. best. One for all, we all far, right? Wow. I'm so, so impressed. impressed. So far, I can't wait to see the video. Add to that, man. Just, just, just trying to have, make sure we have fun out there. You know what I'm saying? That's the first That's thing. That's it right there. Got to make sure we have fun out there. Like I tell, like we got right here, man, this is this is where our laughs come from. Oh, and practice, goodness. wherever we go, Definitely. the laughs are generated here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They start there, and then it just it spreads out throughout the team. So and I try to bring that same energy on, well, I'm going to try to bring it onto the field. You know what I'm saying? Making sure, they have them, sure they're having fun out there. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because we all want to win. That's everybody's goal. Right. But right. Man, doing that, sometimes we lose. The main thing that we come out there for is to have fun because it's recreation. You know what I'm saying? So. Wow. wow. Okay, okay, Coach. So, Coach so Bird, that brings me back to you. you. You're, You're a new face. face. Coaches, Coaches don't, don't know, know your team, team yet. They, they don't, don't know, know what, what they expect, expect from you. you. Uh, can you, can you talk, talk about your past experience and then, and then on top of that, that what's your game plan, plan, plan for your team to defeat teams that are traditional, you know, they don't have their traditional teams? Just trying to bring in. Every, everything new. Let me just say that. Uh, everything new uh, as far as a game plan, it's, it's going to change. Uh, we don't really have one that just set. We don't even know who we plan. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, at the end of the day, our focus is to go out there to have fun. I mean, we got That's talent. Great. We got a lot of a lot of talent over here. So, competing is going to happen regardless. Mm -hmm. um, but, I, like I said, my main focus is to make sure they're having fun. It's year one for us. Yes, so, yeah. gotta have fun. No no, that's what. why I'm laughing, because I'm like, man, you're not joking about that, because here I am playing quarterback. <laughs> and I think that's... What? You saying what? Like, you ain't know I can't no, because... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not saying you can't so play. That's <laughs> like, but, I mean, that's just for... Just, I'm saying, just I for... Just, I think I just enjoy you more hustling to, to block a pass, get a pick six. I think, that you know, that's why I was really like... Yeah, you know, like, so we never really saw you do that. At least I didn't. I mean, that's the thing. Can. We all could play quarterback. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of but course. it's fun for me because I do know the defense. And yeah. I do know, you know, how to uh, – because I've been playing for almost 10 years, like, on the Definitely tackle league or with light and tight. Um, so I've been in the league for a while. I just actually left and went to Thailand for two years. So mm. um, now that I'm back, it's just more so like, okay, well – you know, here I am bringing on everything I learned throughout the years and getting a group that, you know, really are humble and, you know, are students of the game, you know, and being able to put it all together that you can go everywhere. And so that's what makes it fun because she is a quarterback. She's, she clearly didn't yeah, know you that IQ, where you it ain't you're you everywhere. Can't do. So that's what I love about it is that everybody is truly everywhere. Right. So Absolutely. I agree. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Don't sleep. I'm this team is... Don't come out there thinking yeah, that's this... what we're going to be. They're oh, this team is going to be. Like, I'm like, it's okay. I like when they sleep. Yeah. yeah. Don't sleep. <laughs> Y'all, it's a shot if you try to figure it out before you play us. It's all right. I ain't going to say. We don't know. We don't even know who all y'all pieces are. You know, we right. this is just... Right. I got a question. Would y'all be more skillful for this? I'm not about you, but just from this little amount of people, I think I might need to move the factor up a little bit. Consider y'all self to be more skillful in a particular area. Like, what are y'all good at? Like, what y'all good at? Uh, the same the same 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 what group you put in yeah, because yeah. you got a power group power. and you also yeah, got a speaker well, I'm a, I'm, well, I'm gonna let you. Take I understand what I understand what you're saying, but to be honest with you, yeah. like like she said, it just it, it's a it's a good mixture. Okay. Um, it's just depending on who we playing. That's the scheme we're going to. Like yeah. if we playing against a team that you know have a lot of athletes and they're not a power team, they're more of a finesse yeah, team. Yeah, they run. we'll like scheme them. against that. You feel me? That's that's gonna be the type of scheme we're gonna put in. Like for my men's team, I wouldn't say we're a power team. I say we really a finesse team. Mm. We've been playing for so long. We know the game. We we win with our minds. That, right. That would be more, 90% mental anyway. Skillful, but we ain't the youngest. Right. So I ain't going to say we just the most superior athletic. Right. But you wouldn't be able to tell because on the field. Can you, you tell Aisha to talk on the mic? I can't hear him to follow. follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the audience. <laughs> 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 Is that he in the audience? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. If, yeah. yeah. I definitely, my goal is, I mean, I'm here to teach them the game. So like you said, um, my goal is to get them to be that finesse team, if you want to put it that way, as far as, like, 
uh, having a, a high football IQ, IQ. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Just yeah. we can outsmart everybody that we play. Like perfect, I'll take that right. any day over right. power and right. skills. Yeah, right. especially with this being really most of the girls' first season. You know, most yeah. a lot of our girls are uh, you know athletes in other sports: mm -hmm. UFC, boxing, rugby, uh, rugby track. I mean, oh. we have oh, like. Oh, <laughs> I mean, so like, we have a diverse, I mean, you know, we just have a little bit of everything. And so that's what makes us, you know, truthfully, you know, uh, I guess you could say that team, you know, to really be on the lookout for as long as we keep growing, learn and stay healthy, you know, humble, you know, we'll, we'll definitely continue to grow and keep that, you know, camaraderie that we have already because it is meshing well. So good. That's good to hear. That's great to hear, actually. Yeah. That, you know, you got new players coming, not even familiar with the actual game, yeah. but they're just athletic in their own way and from different play areas. Football? Play what? Play yeah, she played Shani against Shani and I she actually were teammates <laughs> when we stuff. merged I played everywhere, <laughs> and she was everywhere. Definitely a great defensive oh, player. So you were the team? No, I was. We were we merged was together. On the, yeah, we was on the team. Yeah, yeah. That was actually when I just came back from Thailand. So I was like, yeah, I got to get in shape. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was, you know, and then, you know, uh, Light and Tight wasn't together at that moment uh, due to COVID. So, you know, the best sense was, you know, I know Bird, and he stayed in touch with me while I was overseas. So I came back like, okay, let me jump on the team. But then the season was about to begin, so we merged. And that was me really coming back, getting my feet wet. And so, yeah. Bird be annoying, y'all. Yeah. Like, this dude. Yeah. Hey, you come to but we got some. Yeah. Tell me, we, yeah, I'm excited for the season. Like, I mean, I'm excited to, to be able to now match up players with players because we got some great players on the league again. So it's going to be cool to be able to put our pieces with their pieces and other teams, play against other teams, to play against other talents so that we can bring out the best in ourselves. So. I'm definitely excited to have uh, more teams that are actually playing in our league this season, which will make it a, definitely a, yeah. a, a better competitive season heat. for us. Yeah, so, bring that heat. Yeah, and new good, faces. Thank God they don't have the, the break. I didn't really personally like the break in between each game due to COVID. I understand COVID, but yeah. I feel like to keep that momentum going, have yeah, a game, yeah. you know, every weekend. I mean, that's how they do it back in the days. Keep going. Yeah, so I'm excited for this season. Though, yes, ma'am. Me too. Speaking Man, of that, did we get the draft yet? We uh, we are looking for the draft. It wasn't up. We actually, oh, it's up. We oh, Dwayne, what's what's what we're rolling with? What we got, man? What we got? We Sunday will be here before you know right, it is right. Thursday. Right. I'm trying to get out my tracker now. <laughs> okay, okay, so the draft is up. That's exciting. So, are you going to Lynn Lewis? Are we going to Lynn Lewis? Um, as of right now, yes. As of right now, um, we're yeah. just praying, you know, for, you know, some components to, you know, come together. But for the most part, yes, our mindset is, you know, to, to be at every tournament, honestly. Okay, Shauna, nice. uh, the draft is up. What are we looking at so I far? I see it. I, I can't, can't see it that, that good, though. So I'm going to pull up on the screen. Got to zoom. You got to go to 100%. <laughs> right. You got to zoom 100% right there. Because, um, no, no, is it up on uh, I thought we'd be able to see it. Let's take a look at the Why we pulled up? Why we pulled up? Who what is that? <laughs> Hi, Hi. Hi. It's Hunk. It's Hunk. 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 Oh, if it's not up, what? So where is it? No, it's, 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 it's up. up. We have it up. We have it up. It's, it's just that. Oh, you can you, 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 yeah. yeah. you 2021. It's on Mashonda's page. Okay, let's see, guys. Yeah, uh, for, for sure. sure. Shout out to Mashonda. Okay, okay, I see it. I'm going to turn it. Oh, I'm going to show you. Okay, okay let's, let's see. see. Let's Ooh, it's not that big, though. though. Someone had to pull it over my face. face. Yeah, me too, Jack. I got these granite acres. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's not very big. They got it up. It's very big. Okay. Um. No. Mm. Oh, mm. Or maybe well, they're, they're just, just going to say it as they go. Because I, I can see James, but I can see Michelle. Michelle. Okay, so I can see the time slot. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay they're, they're talking. talking. They're, they're talking, talking. Yeah. yeah. So the time slots, you guys, will start at, as early as game will be at 9 a.m. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. 4.30 p.m. the last one. one. Okay, Lady Warriors are spot eight. 
They are eight, and they they play whoever is spot ten and spot five. No, 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 no. Ain't that they how they got, go? They got four. They got four games. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. goes. in Thailand for the most part and you know just came back like okay what's up buddy? so um you know he already has some pieces in mind um and you know he just told me his vision and you know I, I felt like you know you know I'm capable of being able uh, strong enough to be able to you know just stand strong with him and see what we can come up with so like people literally was hitting us up via Facebook um you know just while we were out playing um catching the ball you know just literally out you know um street Street, you know, on the streets, really. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, mean we really yeah. got it out the mud. I mean, I, I must say. I mean, so. Gates always looking for folks. He, we walking down, the, I mean, riding down the street and just ask a girl, "Hey, you want to play football?" Like, yeah, yeah. I was just like, I, well, I just want to play ball. I just want to play so ball, you know. Number, hey. Um, but you know, you, people, like I said, you. Uh, people kept in touch, so you know, found out like if I was coming back, when I, who I'm playing with, and you know, it just really just kick it like that. I mean, the the league is really small for the most part, especially when you've been around for a minute. So yeah, definitely. You know, That's what I said. I'm glad we got more, at least more teams. Yeah. Uh, this season, I mean, we was down to what ten. Yeah, I was seeing a lot of them, but so you know, I'm glad it's picking back up for sure because okay. you get to see that fresh talent, the new talent, you know. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. People really making that draw. Hey, I, 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 think I think we bring that back a little, little bit too low. low. I, I mean, just looking at their leadership and hearing the confidence in their quarterback. Oh, I mean, my, my God. God. I mean, I, I mean, did, we got several quarterbacks. <laughs> I mean, the thing <laughs> is, I only ranked it because one, I didn't know what, who was on the team, who he was bringing uh, to his hey, team, God. and I didn't want to just give them something that I ain't seen. You know what I mean? So I was just being fair about it. It's definitely hey, much not respect. To that's cool. That's good. To, yeah, that's good to be uh, an underdog these anyway. Ladies, at all, I just they I haven't seen their style of play to rank them. Yeah. All right, right now, Lady Arsenal is picking, and he picked schedule, schedule twelve. 12. Lady Arsenal is now scheduled 12. 12. So, we gotta play the first game. So, they will play in the number 12 spot, Lady Arsenal. Okay. Harsh, honey. Harsh, shut up. Oh, child. I'm sure my, my food stay warm over there. <laughs> yes, sure do. What'd you get? I got no hot pocket, boo. Oh, I mean, eat hot pockets. Just like on eat hot dogs. He's getting cold red right now. Choice between schedule 11 and schedule 13. One. Oh, that's fine. Ryan Coach Grant is asking what's the difference. Whichever one is best for him. Coach Grant is saying he couldn't have gotten in. Now he's saying he's going to come back to Coach Grant. Schedule 
a red jersey, Arsenal club, X Factor 11. We're seven, so hey, you play whoever nine and six Bert. is. Tony here. Yeah, Stallions will play whoever number nine and number six is at the uh, morning. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Shoes. I, I was, was trying, trying to. All right. So basically, what he was saying was, and sorry about that, buddy. You, you hit it right when he was giving the third to the last one that I missed. So I missed one, but I'm sure we'll be able to fill it in. But basically, Arsenal, Arsenal has schedule number, number twelve. So, so uh, I guess we had to fill in these numbers. Arsenal has schedule number twelve. Cobra has schedule number thirteen. X Factor has schedule number eleven. A Pop has schedule number three. Tiger Tiger has schedule number nine. DOA has schedule number six. Stallions have schedule number seven. Rebels have schedule number ten. Prime time has schedule number four. Storm has schedule number five. Warrior has schedule number eight. Code Red has Code Red number has schedule number thirteen. Arsenal has schedule number twelve. The NTB. X Factor has schedule number eleven. What about NTB and Bama? NTB and Bama are set because they are going to travel back from a bad day earlier. Yeah. 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 They're the they're the like the baby sisters of Bama. They're the the Wolf Pack. NTB Wolf Pack. Lady Wolf Pack. We're playing Bama Bama is schedule number one, and NTV will pack is schedule number two. So basically, we got the schedule. So let's take a look at, let's fill it in. But you got it in front of you still, we can fill it in. Well, we can do what? Well, we can fill it in, fill in the schedule, because we have the numbers now. Uh, Dwayne was writing it down. I do know Stag. It says we're the morning games. We're on field two. Is that what it said? I think Stags is on field two. And we play DOA and Tigers. Nine o'clock and 10-10. Girl, you the only look from Stag, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so with, uh, Arsenal has schedule number 12. Arsenal has schedule number 13. Arsenal has schedule number 14. Us out there. Right. You know how they, they was like, no. 
Get him, get him out of here. <laughs> They took it down just super fast, but um, we didn't we didn't get to see it. I wish we could go back and uh, rewind, but we can't while they're live. I just know Staggers play at nine and ten ten. <laughs> Oh, girl, girl, <laughs> girl. That's that's so, funny. Funny. so they they know they schedule too. I just can't tell them what their second game is. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, Tiger, sorry, DOA. This is gonna be an eventful. That, that is, is all good. good. That, that is, is all good. good. Very well. well um, that's exciting. But we're gonna be out there to see y'all. I can't wait to see y'all play, man. This is gonna be great. Y'all got a bunch of faces. Shut up. Yeah, we had, a, we had a couple of uh, X Factor uh, ladies that wanted to call in. Is we too late? Um, Dwayne, yeah, yeah, let's, let's do it. it. Oh, they just Lord. need the number, Dwayne. Real quick. Come, come over here. Uh, hey, Coach, while the X Factor ladies, ladies are calling, calling in so that they, they can talk, talk. Can, you can you tell us your recruiting strategy? strategy? Because, because a, lot a lot of people are asking them, but you don't. don't. Um, I mean, it's just, it's word of mouth, you know what I'm saying? I can't really say too much, but I, I, it's just, uh, when you out, I mean, you see, you see females, man, you just, you ask them, that's it. I mean, that's all I've been doing, you know, when I'm at the gas station, anywhere, I'm at the store, Walmart, whatever, or, you know what I'm at saying? At the wild, Yeah, like, I just be asking, like, yo, what's up? You, you want to play? Teach you the game. Well, Al, you out. be on coach in the wild world. I'm just <laughs> 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 He got a good little eye. He got a good little eye. I be asking the same question. Is you in the house well? Yes, I'm like, where I'm you getting them from? Are you <laughs> in beauty? <laughs> I swear, I swear, it's the same uh, thing. But, I mean, honestly, though, most of it was just is word of mouth, honestly. Yeah, for sure. That's all. For sure. Wow. wow. We yeah. have a caller. Oh, Lord. Hey. Who could be on the line? <laughs> Did we answer? Hey, girl, hey. What's up? What's up? I'm about to say new phone. Who this? Hi. Hi. And who are you, you young Jay lady? Bird. <laughs> this is Jaybird. Jaybird. Hey, <laughs> Definitely Jaybird. Jaybird, what up? <laughs> okay, Jaybird, well, tell us who what you up, are what and, and what, you, what position you are. Well, now, y'all play everywhere. Uh, yeah. What brought you to the yeah, team? Everywhere. <laughs> What brought Jay Bird to the league and to the X Factors team? Um, energy. Energy brought me. Energy is everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I know Shawna Shawna got her moon rocks and things going on. She Always. has good energy. Yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. okay. All right, Jay Bird. What's your number, Jay Bird? Number eleven. Number eleven. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. Wow. All right. All right. I'm gonna just assume you are just as sexy as your teammates over here. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Definitely. Y'all. I love them. That's cornbread. That's cornbread. Yeah. 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 Getting them out of the club. Throwing them out the club. Getting them out the club. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Bird. Yeah, I got my eye on you. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is so funny. Jay Bird, are you still overall? Are you still the Have they played for nothing no, nah, I'm not new. Uh, I used to play for DOA. I was a center for DOA for two seasons. Okay. Is this juice? Yeah. Who? Oh, no, she on. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. Juice went to Tiger. Never mind. Yeah, no. My bad. No. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. 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 And what is it? The energy is one of the reasons that she went to X-Factor. Is that basically the reason why you want to transition? Or did something happen that you want to transition as in? Do you just want to come to no, I just wanted to, you know, do something new. Um, okay. It's definitely, you know, it definitely speaks to you when you're in, when it's a different energy, when it's a different vibe, when you are not stagnant in a position or not stagnant in an ability to do something. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go somewhere and they're like, hey, no, you don't have a specific position. You're a you're going to do this, that, and the third. 
you know, it's definitely okay. something different. It's definitely something that I want to be a part of. So I'm ready. That's exciting. That's exciting. That's exciting. You did well. Yeah, you did. I think I'm going to be a big fan. I can't see you. I know you can't see me, but yeah, I think I'm going to be a big fan. It's exciting to see young people move around. That's a good strategy. I'm going to tell you that. Well, do you guys have a big conversation with me? Call in. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, Jaybird. Yeah. Man, look, Shauna, we supposed to have, we, right, we supposed to have a, lot good of, up there. a lot more new faces <laughs> up here. Yeah. But oh, honestly, we got another I don't know they shy. No, it's a tornado, you know, know what I'm saying, due to weather, the inclement weather. Right. We ain't even have practice tonight. <laughs> oh, we got somebody else on the on the line, uh, Shauna. Guys, who do you think it is? Uh, okay. Hey, girl, hey. hey. Why did you <laughs> who did? New phone? Who did? <laughs> Hello. Hey, hey, girl. Hey. hey. Yeah. What it do? It's Angie. This Angie. Oh, Angie. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, it's Angie. Oh, hey, my bad. Yeah. 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 Y
Do you have to go ahead and take back on the TV? Uh, <laughs> see, I'm just trying to avoid that. 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 I'm just trying to you ain't happy? Come on. Oh. <laughs> your coaches are not utilizing your talents and correctly. And you're great. I you know. Really over here. Hey, okay? If you can kick the ball Hello. 50 yards, we will use you. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Yeah. We gonna have to table this, Yo. guys. This has been Yo. a great, great, great show. Oh, oh. I can't keep talking. I Game day they is, it. is March 28th, Sunday. This Sunday coming up. Uh, so be ready. Be there. Uh, have your game face on, your game cleats on. Definitely. Um, yeah. Hey, it is that time of year. It's time for the ladies to Finally. Show, show out. Show up Finally. and show out. And it's time for us to get up out of here, uh, Shauna. I, I know, I know. Welcome to the end. Thank y'all for coming in. Y'all gotta make sure that y'all gotta make sure that live, live on Instagram. Y'all are just having a camera. 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 Y'all are just Less injuries, no injuries if we can help it. So we can prayerfully. continue to play throughout the whole season and make this very fun, very competitive, Absolutely. and a great, great season for, to see these ladies uh, come together and do exactly. it. Exactly. Thank y'all so, so much again for coming in. Just a quick closing announcement. Um, don't, don't forget if you guys not not register for Little Amenities that haven't registered. Registration, registration is still open. Um, so make sure you guys register. That's in Palm Coast, Florida, April 30th through May 2nd. Um, Virginia Beach, if you guys have not registered for that, that's June. 19th through June 20th. That's going to be a Hampton Road soccer complex. Weekend Warrior is going to be Orlando, Florida, July 10th through the 11th, and that is um, Orlando again. And then a the sanction tournament for women that are looking to make that $220,000 cash prize.